All right, this is not my normal video. Completely different than what I normally do, but some of y'all is going to enjoy it. You know, Farmall Super M is my favorite tractor by far. My dad had one when I was growing up, and that tractor was like a brother to me. Well, playing Farming Simulator one night, I'm like, you know what? I'd really like to play on a Super M. But I couldn't find a mod pack for it, not for Farming Simulator 22 at least. But EY Modding got really close when they released their Farmall H and Super H pack. Let me tell you, these guys did an amazing job on this tractor. Amazing. But I still wanted to play it as a Super M. Now, they've got the details on the H almost perfect to an H. I didn't, I didn't really need to get that close on a Super M. I just wanted to see Super M on the side of the hood, you know? So, I made my own. I read badged their Super H to have more horsepower and have the Super M logo on the side that everybody wants to see everybody meaning me i wanted to see it now this is not for distribution this is my own homemade pack based on ey's you know, mod pack they did an amazing job and i don't want to take any credit from them they did great links are below to get their pack but i'm also going to show you guys how i made my own feel free to do your own disclaimer not responsible if you crash your game making mod packs yourself it can be dangerous most of the time you'll just crash your own mod pack but you know, there's things you can do to break your game, so I'm not responsible. Do this at your own risk. I'm going to show you how to do this. Here we go. The link is below, but we're going to go to Mod Hub and get a copy of this mod. Now, you can download this one directly in-game, but I'm going to get it from the Mod Hub. Be careful when you're clicking around here. There's a lot of ads. I don't really trust it. I think you can probably get viruses this way. I don't know. Just be careful. Hey, once you get it downloaded, you're going to extract it. You can use you know, WinZip or anything. Basically, I just double click. I'm using a Mac. And then you've got all your files you need right here. Different types of files there. That's where we're going to be working today. We're going to be working in GIMP, which is a Photoshop type program. And we're going to be working in a Notepad type editor. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but everything's there. Right here is your textures for the decals. That's where we're going to be changing in a little bit. We'll get to that in a little while. After everything's extracted, we want to find this XML file that's called farmallh.xml. We're going to go in here and find and replace. Now, I'm using uh, Visual Studio. You guys can use Notepad. For, you know, it doesn't really matter. Do a find and replace. We're going to search for farmallh with a space in there. Don't do it without the space because it will actually crash some things. And then replace it with farmall space m. All right, we're going to replace all is that one right there all right once that's replaced we're going to come back and we're going to do super h and super m and this is just where it's defining the names of these so we're going to replace all with that too there it goes all right perfect now it's changed in there perfect and then we're going to make a few other things now i've got up here the tractordata.com page for a farm all super m it's got all the information on the tractor so we're going to find that for maximum speed oh, horsepower horsepower is 44.23 horsepower at the draw bar on a super m there it is all right and then we'll find the speed. We can find that in the transmission mission section. Now we're going to do this in kilometers per hour, which is the small number 26, was it 26.6? I think it is. There it is. Now that is entered. Perfect. Come down here to the price. $12,000 seems a little high. Let's make it about 2000. That seems more accurate. All right. And all this other information is about the tractor. We'll get to some of it, but most of it can stay as it is. It doesn't really affect much, but you can kind of go through here, and if you read through it, you can kind of figure out what some of it does, but you don't really need to know what all of it does, but it's all there. A lot of good information in here. Everything here you do has a risk of breaking something, though, so be very careful with what you change. All right, so if you come down through here, you can find some spots for the uh, engine motor configuration, and it's got information in here. Uh, for RPMs that you can put in. Now, it's up to you whether you change this or not. Uh, I changed it, and it changed. It was pretty cool because it changed a little bit of the, uh, you know, the way the tachometer works and everything. But it did change the way the sounds work. I'm pretty sure. So it might be something you don't want to do. But you got to change the speed there. Maximum was 26. 
How was that? 0.6. Let's go look at that. 26.6 kilometers per hour. All right, so we got that in there. It's one thing you got to change. All right, perfect. All right, back to the engine here. All right, now this is for, let's see, an M. Minimum RPM is 480. I think that might be where I actually messed up the sound. It is what it is. All right, and then we're going to go down here and change the speeds. And this is, once again, it's all in kilometers per hour. So we're going to change it. This is first gear, second gear, third gear, and so on. And we're just going to change those so that they match. Get it as close as possible. I was going more for performance than I was uh, looks on this mod. I, you know, I, I wanted to, to act like... A Super M, and I wanted to have the Super M badge. That's about it. So that is those changed right there. All right, and then the reverse speed, six kilometers per hour. All right, perfect. We're done with that. All right. The rest of this, we don't need to do too much with. All right, the last thing we got to do is in the motor configuration portion. So there's two different motors here. There's the M right there, and then down below that, we've got the Super M. And we've got to have different horsepowers for each of those, so we'll go ahead and correct the horsepower on that. 44.3, oops, there we go, 44.3. And price, we'll make it $1,000 more for the Super M. It's kind of unreasonable, but who cares? It's a game. Or money ne means nothing in the game anyway. All right. Now we'll go back to the M. The M has, where is it, 33 horsepower off the belt. So we'll go ahead up to the M, which is the top one here. Change that from 26 to 33. All right. There you go. So now your horsepower is set for the M and the Super M. There's two different options in there. And we'll go ahead and save it. Make sure you save uh, before you move on. It kind of goes without saying, but I'm going to say it in anyway. anyway. Next thing we're going to be working on is the texture pack, changing the decals. In textures, there's a decals file. We're going to open this with a program called GIMP. You can use Photoshop if you have it. GIMP is free. I like GIMP. So we're opening GIMP. And here we go. You've got the H and the Super H logos there. So we're going to be changing those things right there. Um, it, this isn't a tutorial on how to use GIMP. Feel free to look that up if you need to. Uh, essentially, we're just uh, trying to select the areas we want to change, make the modifications, and get out of this program. There's three spots. H shows up. You've got the spot here that I'm circling now, spot to the right, and then down there in the serial plate. We're not going to do the serial plate in this, uh, in this video. It's such a small detail that I really don't care about it. Uh, we're going to be uh, just clearing out where it says H, and we'll add an M in there. So go ahead and do that quick take the other H out of the super H this is uh, this mod that UI did is just so super clean it's beautiful work they really did great wish they would do an, an M but you know what they did such a good job on the H I really don't care and they get to do what they want to do because they did an amazing job with this and definitely not We'll go ahead and take the H out. I just won't replace it with M for now for the sake of you guys watching. Ooh, it's gone. All right, let's add in the M. M, how do you spell that? M, there we go. We'll change it to a font that looks more like it. That's not quite it. I need a bold font. I think there's a bold font in here. There we go. That one looks good. It's a good font. It's a pretty good size. Perfect. We'll move it up where it needs to be. Looks good. Yep. And then we'll use our eyedropper to get that color red. There it is. Need an outline around that thing yet. Do an outline. Highlight it. File. Nope. Edit. Stroke selection. Oh. No, that's not quite strong enough. A little more. Five 
pixels, maybe. Yeah, solid color. 0.5. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we can copy that over to the M and we'll just change the color in it. Duplicate the layer. Move it over. Good positioning. We'll fill it with white. It's a little small, but I like the way it looks that way. I'm not planning on using the M that much anyway. I'm really using the Super M. That's the whole point of making this mod is for the Super M for me, but you guys feel free to make whatever you want. If you want to make an MTA, you can try. I don't know how that would work because the TA kind of hangs out the side of that. I don't know if it worked or not. You can make an MD. Probably have to darken the smoke a little bit. All right, we got to merge these three layers. So that's the only visible ones. Merge visible layers. Merge. There it is. Good to go. And then we'll overwrite that file. That's saving it. There we go. Perfect. Now we need to copy this folder, this whole folder, into the mods folder of Farm Simulator 22. You have to look up if you don't know how to do that. Uh, that's once again, it's not a modding tutorial from scratch. You gotta know. And once you do that, the mod is in there. Boom! There's all the data we put in. All looks good. It's uh, yeah, it's all there. And then we'll go ahead and start the game. Check that. Added it in. Start. Do do. There it is. And the small tractors all the way to the right. There it is. Farm all M. Perfect. There's the horsepower we put in. There's the M logo. Change it to a Super M. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Yeah, let's buy that sucker. Now, I should preface this by saying this is definitely just a Farm all H that's been reskinned. It's not perfect. I understand that. But it looks good enough for me. I like it a little small the driver if I could shrink the driver down somehow and that seat is way too big but otherwise I think it looks pretty good one thing that I'm gonna do yet I'll show you that I think makes this thing look a lot more beefy I'm gonna change some tires up on it so give me a minute let's work on changing those tires a little bigger all right so to change the tires we're back in the folder we started at we'll go over here to this one right here which is the Farmall H i3d and this is actually how the 3d stuff is rendered so if we go through here you'll find the transform groups and then go towards the top of that till we find wheel back left all right and right before the word translation we'll add the word scale and then equals two quotes and in the middle of those quotes for now we'll do one 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 with a space between each of them we'll go down a line and do the same thing Actually, let's make this 1.2. I think 1.2 would probably be a good width. The first number is the width. You can change the height of the tires with the others, but I'll just warn you, it's a lot of work to make it actually look right. It does not look right. So 1.2, 1, and 1. You can make these numbers anything you want them to be. It'll change the visuals a little bit. Actually, let's see. Yeah, let's make it a little wider. Let's make it 1.5. 1.5 is probably a good look. All right, we'll save it. Let's go over and open up the game. Go into tractors. All right, there it is. Oh, they look good. They look real good. See that? It looks more like an M just with the bigger tires as it is the wider tires. I like it. All right, let's go back and see if we can make them a little bit wider. So they're 1.5 right now. Let's change those. Change it to four. Let's put some monsters on there, right? Nice. All right. Let's go over and see what that looks like. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. I think if we put some fenders on there, it's probably going to be in the way. Um, a little tight. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right. What's more reasonable? Two? Two might be pushing it, too. Let's try it. All right. Back in the game. Two looks good. But what's it do with the fenders? Yep, they cut into it. Now, you can use the translation there and actually move them out, but I think they are a little big. We're not making a puller here. We're making a plow tractor. So <laughs> we'll do 1.5 again because that looked really good. There it is, 1.5. Whoops. Don't screw that up. Save it. Go back into the game. There it is. 
Yeah, that 1.5 looks really good. Made him look beefy. Yep. I like it. A little bit wider. Super M looks good. Three point hitch. And let's buy that thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Oh, if you look at the, the rear wheels, uh, if you do the duels, they're still wide. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Um, it was not extremely thorough, but it was how to do it. And there's a Super M. That was my goal. Anyway, guys, uh, shout out to EY Modding. They did an amazing job on the H. This looks great as an M. I mean, it's not an M. We know it's not an M. But I tell you what, it looks good enough for me, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, I, I main purpose of doing this, I wanted to start a YouTube channel called Clem on an M. <laughs> That's my name's Clem. I might do that yet. If uh, if I start that, link will be below. All the other links to everything else that we've talked about are below in the description. Go ahead and subscribe. Check out my charcoal drawings. I do a lot with uh, with charcoal drawings and uh, drawing farm tractors of all makes and models. This one's been fun though, y'all. We'll catch you later. Have a good one.